angle properties of a circle. In the figure below, PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. PQ is equals to QR. Angle PQR is equals to 105 degrees. And PS is parallel to QR. So there is the diagram. Uh, the questions determine the size of angle PSR, then B, angle PQS. So let's begin with the first one, getting angle PSR. So let me identify angle PSR. Angle PSR is um, here, PSR, the whole of this angle, that is what you're supposed to get. So this is the angle, angle PSR. How do you get that? Uh, when you consider this cyclic quadrilateral, that is a quadrilateral that has all the four vertices touching the circumference of the circle, we have a property relating to that. And uh, when you look at this uh, angle that is given here, the property is, when you look at this angle, angle, angle P, Q, S, plus angle PSR, which is the required angle, that one should add up to 180 degrees. Now, this is the property that I've used. If you have two opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, and in this case, these two are the opposite angles, PQS and PSR, they are two opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. They should add up to 180. So let me just put it down that the sum, the sum of two opposite, opposite angles in a cyclic, in a cyclic quadrilateral. is 180. The sum of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is 180. So therefore, when I take PQS, which is 105 degrees, plus angle PSR, which is the required angle, I should get 180. Therefore, in short, PSR, Angle PSR will be obtained by taking 180 degrees, subtract 105 degrees, and this will give 75 degrees. So that is the size of angle PSR. Part B, angle PQS. Angle PQS. So angle PQS is uh, PQS is this angle that is here. This is the angle. Let me mark that angle. We have this angle. That is the angle, PQS, this is this angle. So in order to get that angle, there are some angles that you're going to feel. We already given that P, we have this PQ is equivalent to QR. So this will form an isosceles triangle. That is triangle PQR will be isosceles. And you know what um, the property relating to an isosceles triangle the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So if you have this angle as 105, then getting the two angles here would be quite easy. So these are going to do it. So you take 180 degrees, then you subtract 105. And uh, these are the two remaining angles of that triangle. And because they are equal, we divide by 2. And these will give uh, 75 degrees divided by 2. And these will give 37.5. So therefore, this angle here is 37.5 degrees and also this one is 37.5 degrees. Having done that again, uh, there is something else that we can do. We can feel another angle. Uh, we got this one as uh, 75. Let me feel that. We have two lines that are parallel. We have PS is parallel to QR. And then PR is a transversal. PR is a transversal. 
so these two lines are parallel and this one is a transversal so you notice that the angles in a transversal alternate angles we have this angle that is here is alternate to this angle that is here so this one these angles are equal also this one should be 37.5 degrees so that means that angle spr spr this angle is equivalent to angle q rp qrp this angle so this angle and this angle they are equal the fact that they are alternate angles angles in a transversal then from there we can still get this angle that is here consider triangle p r s in that triangle you have two angles you have 75 and you have that 7.5 so it is possible to get this angle that is here that is angle p r s so let me get angle PRS. So we simply add 75 degrees plus 37.5 degrees, which will be 112.5 degrees. And then we take 180 degrees minus 112 degrees because of the sum of angles in a triangle. Should be 180. And this is... Um, 112.5 degrees this will give 67.5 degrees so therefore this angle here is 67.5 degrees now when you add this angle plus this plus this you get 180 now we're still uh, trying to get pqs PQS, uh, PQS is here, so this is the angle, and the property that you're going to use is simple. We have angles subtended by the same chord. I'd like you to look at this chord, PS. Look at chord PS. Chord PS is subtending this angle here, angle PQS, angle PQS, and angle. PRS. Let me write it here. Angle PQS. So angle PQS and angle PRS. Look at those angles. Angle PQS. PQS. So this is angle PQS. PQS, that is the angle you are required to get, and angle PRS, they are angles subtended by the same chord, and the chord here is PS at the circumference. This chord, PS, is the one that is subtending the two of those angles, and those angles should be equal. Angles subtended by the same chord at the circumference are equal. So let me write down that property. So angles subtended by the same chord at the circumference are equal and therefore the two of these angles are equal therefore uh, when you look at this angle here so angle p r s is 67.5 and therefore angle p q s should also be 67.5 so this angle here should be 67.5 degrees so that is how you're supposed to do it so this one is 67.5 degrees so that is the solution and that is how you calculate those angles